Hey everyone, Keith Locke here. Uh, okay, what we're looking at here is a WordPress blog I just set up. And what I did was make it so that it wasn't a niche blog, but more of a generic blog with um, unrelated, semi-unrelated uh, topic categories. So I have a marketing category in here, recipes category, food, fishing and miscellaneous and I deliberately set it up so that they weren't related um, so I can demonstrate how we can set it up so that we can make it easy for our visitors or readers to subscribe to just the sections of our website that they're interested in and to do that what we're going to do is expose the um, RSS feed URLs for each of the categories to our users and there's a plugin that makes it super simple to do it's a plugin by Tips and Tricks called Category Specific RSS Feed Subscription. You can download it from the WordPress repository. I already got it on my computer, so I'm just going to go to the plugins, click on Add New, Upload Plugin, Choose File, double click the zip file that I downloaded from WordPress, click Install Now. This is just a message. Um, specific to my host has nothing to do with the plugin at all click on activate plugin and this creates a settings menu um, so under settings we're going to look at category specific RSS and in here you can decide what the title is going to be if you're using a widget um, of course you can use a short code or a PHP function but what I'm going to use is the widget so this um, defines what the title of the widget will be and this checkbox will make it so that it automatically shows all the categories individually. Um, I can disable the authors um, and the post count. Those are enabled by default. I had this set up before so I think it retained those settings. Um, so what I did was just uncheck those and there's an all, like you can make it so that they can subscribe to everything. Um, that was in there by default as well um, when I first set it up. But I removed that because I just want to show the individual category um, subscription links, but of course it's a matter of preference. Now once this is configured, just click on update options of course, then go to appearance, widgets. I'm going to place this particular widget just below, just actually just above the search. I'm going to put it right in here, make it easy to see. Um, here's the widget here, just going to drop it up top. Click save and refresh the blog. So now, this is remember this is the title that was used um, in the settings page. So we can modify that here, and it automatically just loops through each of the categories that are on my blog and makes subscription links to each one. And that's as simple as that. Um, now my readers have the ability to subscribe just to the sections of my blog that they're interested in and then they don't have to be inundated with posts that they're not interested in at all. Alright, uh, again this is Keith Locke, thanks for watching.